Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, reading today Romans chapter 4, verse 13. For the promise that he should be the heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his descendants through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. So from the very beginning of this book, Paul has been under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit making a very logical, biblical argument that man is unable to save himself by the works of the law, any law, including God's law, but that we are backed into the corner and we need a Savior who just happens to be Jesus Christ. Don't you believe it? He is the one that was predicted by God. He is the eternal Son of the eternal Father who became a man and died on the cross to pay for our sins. The God-man, the only one capable of paying for man's sins. And we need him. And he continues to make this argument. God did not say, Abraham, if you keep my law, then I'll save you because of your faith. See, now he is addressing those people who would say, oh yes, 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 we need to have faith, faith in Jesus, that will save us. But that's not enough. That's, that doesn't go far enough. We have to keep the law. You have to keep the Sabbath law. You have to keep the dietary laws. You have to keep uh, whatever law that some pastor comes up with. Men can not have beards or mustaches. Uh, women can only wear long dresses and, and never a pantsuit, nothing like that. Uh, women can never cut their hair, not even trim it. Women cannot make, wear any makeup, none at all. I mean, th I've seen all these laws. I've endured preachers talking about these things and calling them holiness standards. And they say, well, you need faith in Jesus Christ, plus you need to do these things. No, God did not say, Abraham, if you keep my law or any other law, then I will save you because of your faith. Because that wouldn't make sense. He didn't say that because that would not make any sense. See, look at 14. For if they who are of the law be heirs, faith is made void, and the promise made of none effect. So God is saying that salvation by works cancels out salvation by faith. And salvation by faith cancels out salvation by works. They are mutually exclusive of one another. You got to choose which way you're going to go. Are you going to try to earn your way to heaven by doing good works? By trying to keep the Old Testament law or parts of them? By doing other legalistic things that your pastor tells you you must do to be saved? You're going to try to make up for your sins by doing good deeds, perhaps, and hope that your good outweighs your bad, your good enough. You're going to do that, or are you going to believe God when he says, For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Repent and receive him as Lord and Savior. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, listen for complete series. Going through the whole Bible, verse by verse. That's at thebibleversebyverse.com. To be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture verse by verse, pray for me and God's word. That makes you an immediate part of this ministry, and I'd appreciate that. It's very important. Also, when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the donate button, prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time.